General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam Nguyen Phu Jong arrives Laos for an official visit from 12 to 13 of April at the invitation of Party Secretary General and President of the Lao PDR Jumali Sayason. An official ceremony to welcome Comrade Nguyen Phu Jong with his delegations took place at Bac Si, Jampasak Province. In response to the invitation by Party Secretary General and President of the Lao PDR, Jumali Sayason, General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Nguyen Phu Chong, his wife and a high-ranking delegation from Vietnam arrived to Laos on Saturday, the 12th of April, for an official visit from 12th to 13th of April. Upon his arrival, the Vietnamese top leaders welcomed by Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Commission for External Relations of the Lao PDR Central Committee, Thong Lun Si Sulit, who is also Foreign Minister of Laos, Minister of Education and Sports, Dr. Pan Kham Vip Pawan, who is also Chairman of the Laos Vietnam Friendship Association, Dr. Pan Duong Chit Vong Sa, and Governor of Champasak, Dr. Son Sai Si Pan Don. <laughs> The Vietnamese top leaders Nguyen Phu Chong then paid his courtesy call on the former party secretary general and former president of the Lao PDR, Kham Tai Si Phan Don. At the talk, President Kham Tai warmly welcomed the visit of the Vietnamese general secretary of CPV and saying it would contribute to the enhancement of special ties and comprehensive cooperation between the two nations. On this auspicious occasion, President Kham Tai Si Pandon also extend best wishes to all compatriots of all ethnic groups, all social strata, and people of all ages throughout the country, as well as those living abroad. He also wished General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Nguyen Phu Chong, his wife, and a high-ranking delegation from Vietnam good luck, happiness, and good health throughout the new year 2557, the year of the horse. President Kham Tai is one of the amongst the first generation of seven leaders along with the six deceased, namely President Kai Son Pomihan, President Supano Vong, former acting president Pumi Vong Vichit, Poon Si Pasert, and Si Somporn Lo Van Sai. Governor of Champasak Son Sai Si Pandon later hosted a Basi to offer well wishes to the Vietnamese delegation. Be My Lao is a special occasion which allows friends and family to strengthen their relationships. The Basi or Su Quan is a well known traditional ritual and has its origins in the ancient custom of past generations. This ceremony has a deep meaning for Lao people as well as for visitors to the country. On Sunday the 13th of April, General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Nguyen Phu Chong, his wife and a high-ranking delegation from Vietnam traveled to Atapu province where the delegation was warmly welcomed by Politburo member and Secretariat of Party Central Committee Dr. Bun Pon Buttanavong, Minister of Education and Sports Dr. Pan Kham Vip Pawan, who is also Chairman of the Laos Vietnam Friendship Association and Atapu Provincial Governor Kham Pan Pomathat. The Vietnamese party leader also provide funding to contribute to the poverty reduction matter in Atapu province. <laughs> After that, party secretary general and president of the Lao PDR, Jumali Sayason, and general secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Nguyen Phu Chong, met with President Jumali Sayason, warmly welcomed the visit of Nguyen Phu Chong, his wife and a high-ranking delegation from Vietnam, and saying it would contribute to the enhancement of special ties and comprehensive cooperation between the two nations. The top leaders of Laos and Vietnam have agreed to give all priorities to strengthening and promoting the bilateral special friendship and comprehensive cooperation, considering them valuable assets which must be preserved and handed to future generations.
President Tsai Ing-wen also praised the close coordination between the two nations' ministries, agencies, and localities in implementing agreements reached by their senior leaders, as well as cooperation deals signed between the two governments. For his part, Vietnamese party leader Nguyen Phu Trong said he hoped that the visit would help further advance for the friendship, special solidarity, and comprehensive cooperation between parties, states, and people of Vietnam and Laos. The Vietnamese leader expressed his delight at the successes Laos has made in maintaining political stability, security, and national defense, fostering its economic, cultural, and social development, and improving living conditions of the people. Both hosts and guests noted with pleasure that the Laos and Vietnam special solidarity has been reinforced and the mutual trust and attachment between leaders and people of the two nations have been enhanced through high-level visits as well as meeting for exchange and experience sharing of ministries, agencies, and mass organizations at all levels.